The lifestyles of celebrities are usually pretty flamboyant. There's no telling what they can buy, what they have already, and what they intend to buy. Conor McGregor, one of the badass martial artists in the world of martial arts, is one of those celebrities that have amassed a great deal of expensive properties for himself. From state-of-the-art cars, houses to wristwatches, killer shoes, and insane wardrobes filled with designer clothes, this monster fighter has it all and more. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 expensive things owned by one of the most feared martial artists in the world, McGregor. We'll also look at the worth of these things and when he bought them. But before we go into today's video, thanks for choosing our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Here are the top 10 expensive things owned by Conor McGregor. Number 10. Cars Almost every celebrity or rich person loves cars. It's more like a ritual for them, a must-have. I don't mean ordinary cars ordinary people can afford. I mean luxurious cars, classic cars worth millions of dollars. Connor is not an exception. With his huge success in the MMA, this man spent millions of his hard-earned money on massive car collections. McGregor has at least 15 luxurious cars in his garage. Obsessed with the Lamborghini brand of cars, this former MMA star has the Lamborghini Aventador, the Lamborghini Aventador Road Roadster, the Lamborghini Huracan AV10, amongst others. And that's not all. Connor has the McLaren 12C, a Corvette Stingray, a BME 18, a McLaren P1, a Mercedes Maybach, and you can count more and more. Although he loves his cars, Connor still has an emotional attachment to the fight car he bought when he started fighting. Maybe the car reminded him of his big break, or the car reminded him of where he came from. We don't know, but he still has his Vauxhall Astra. Number 9. Luxury Villas Would it not be strange to have a shit ton of money and not have state-of-the-art houses? Yeah, it would. With Connor's whopping net worth and his current engagement as a businessman, it would only be normal to have houses worth millions of dollars. The superstar MMA champion bought himself a house worth $2 million in his native country, Ireland. This is where he lives with his relatively large family. The mansion is located at the K-Club in County Kildare. This is one of the most reserved places in the whole of Ireland. Apart from his luxury home in Ireland, Gartner and his partner D. Devlin acquired a mansion in Marbella, Spain worth $1.7 million. The Marbella mansion features a customized gym, pool, and an impressive LED driveway. Connor also has a beautiful mansion in Las Vegas, though the house is now on the market. His thing for houses can be traced to his earlier days when he started fighting. Connor was so broke he was living with his girlfriend's parents. Well, that is most definitely never gonna happen again. Number 8. Charity You cannot underestimate the good that helping people brings. While this may not be a property, most wealthy people see it as important to give back to the community that helped them grow. The philanthropic acts of Conor McGregor are worth mentioning as part of his achievements. Conor announced in May of 2019 that he was constructing eight houses for homeless people in Dublin, Ireland. Conor did not just award the contract and leave it to the devices of the contractors. He also went to the site to see how the work was going which means that he literally wants the best for the people that would benefit from the program. Number 7. Watches There is a common thing the rich have, and it's their insane love for designer timepieces. It's like a part of them is empty without their wristwatch. Connor has this craze for watches too, so much that after he wins a big fight and gets paid, he purchases a beautiful and expensive watch and he wears it on his left hand. He has won a lot of big matches, which means that he's a safari of watches. From one of the notable watches, The Sun, we know that this champion's watches are valued at $700,000, and it's more likely to be more than that. Part of his life collection of watches are his Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, amongst others. Connor owns a lot of expensive watches, but the most expensive in his collection, known to the public, is his Patek Philippe Rose Gold Nautilus 5980 1R 001. The watch is indeed a true masterpiece, featuring the self winding mechanism and a rose gold Nautilus. 
The watch is estimated at a staggering $100,000. Number 6. Shoes Outside the ring, Connor is a classic man, and he's famous for his three-piece suits and his killer shoes. His shoes are the highlight of his dressing. The UFC champion has shared video on social media of his massive collection of shoes. Most of these beautiful shoes are from the world's leading fashion brands, Gucci, and they cost quite a fortune. A pair of these vast collections of Gucci shoes cost $6,000, and he has a wardrobe full of them. Connor also has the Jimmy Choo's John slippers that cost $750 and a vast collection of designer sneakers. Most of his sneakers are customized, and he wears them with his custom-made clothes. Gosh, money's good. Number 5. Fur Coat One thing that we all know about Connor is his respect for rules and restrictions. In 2017, the UFC champion was spotted in a custom-made Gucci mink coat that was embroidered with a snake on the back. This coat is said to cost an estimated $30,000. Well, he was backlashed for wearing real fur and called out by fans on social media. But the superstar did not care. Connor donned the coat for a press conference and it was a Gucci fest on his body. He wore the coat with a number of Gucci pieces, which totaled a whopping $150,000. The fashion was said to be inspired by Smokin' Joe Fraser, one of the foremost boxers in the world. Smokin' wore the same clothes before his fight against Muhammad Ali, although we all know Fraser's coat was most likely cheaper. Number 4. Training Camps Nobody likes to be beaten, especially if you've amassed the amounts of titles that Connor has. After his disgraceful defeat in 2016, McGregor decided to revamp his training camp. His fight against Nick Diaz in Las Vegas took a great toll on the superstar, and he didn't take it lightly and asked for a rematch. To better prepare himself for the rematch, the MMA champion beefed up his training camp and he spent a whole lot of money doing it. He spent over $300,000 training for the match. In an ESPN interview, the monster fighter said, With gyms, cars, transports, flights, accommodations, I'd estimate that we're talking a $300,000 camp here. This is a big, big expense, but what I make is big, so in the bigger picture, it's rather small. It would have been an exercise in futility had the rematch been lost again, but he won, which means the money he spent was just an investment. Number 3. Family Bills Family, in the long run, is all that matters. Above all the pomp and pageantry, it was your family that was there when the going was tough and the career was still a dream. Connor had his fair share of hunger and anger, and he understood the fact that his family was his backbone when times were rough. And so, when he became a multi-millionaire, he did right by his family. The MMA champion invited his parents and his sister over to a special dinner when they were to celebrate his success and his career boom. And that wasn't all, as the superstar had a surprise for them. Conor McGregor paid up all his family bills, from mortgage bills to any other bill you can think of. In an interview, the fighter said, I took every bill off their hands, every single bill. My whole family has retired young now. He told his family that they would not have to work if they didn't want to. And that was all settled for them he also gifted them a state-of-the-art BMW 5 Series. Number 2. Alcohol McGregor loves his nightlife, and he sure knows how to party. He went partying at the Encore Beach Club in Las Vegas, and the welcome he received there was heartwarming. So the star decided to take the bill of everybody on him. He spent a whopping $100,000, one of the craziest things the man has ever done. While it may not look like it, it also conforms to his giving back to society's personality. Connor would have left the place without doing anything, and he would have been trolled, but he paid for the drinks of everybody in the club that night. Looking at the amount, you would agree with the time that it was massive, but the man had just won a fight when which he earned $30 million. Maybe he just wanted to celebrate that win with his fans. A very good way to do so, don't you think? Number 1. Connor's Suits Now, remember I told you his offering look? classic and sharp? And what is a classic man without his suit and shiny shoes? Connor's personal suit maker is David August, and the man charges four to $10,000 per suit. And guess what? He has a plethora of suits in his wardrobe. The CEO of TMZ said he likes to wear his suits high and tight and really tailored, 
and his size changes all the time depending on his fights. So we're always measuring him to make sure it fits exactly how he wants it. Connor takes a detailed look at his fashion, just as he does with his fights. That's why he always gets measured every time a new suit is to be sewn. It has to be perfect. Well, we've come to the end of this video. Let us know what you think of the expensive things that Conor McGregor has done with his fortune. Do you think he's flashy with his spending? Let us know in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.